got no business doing. He like it. Usher like it. Meek Mill liked it. French Montana Biggie liked it. They all liked it. And that's why they found themselves around Diddy. Now they got these tapes out there. Everybody want to see it. They want to see Meek Mill spread it. They want to see the part where Meek Mill started rapping and Usher was hitting in high notes. They want to see them tapes that Diddy executively produced as freak off tapes. And they said Chili the one that had the diseases floating around. And Meek Mill had that ass in the pool because he was in pain and he was hurting. He started dating Diddy. They was wearing matching outfits. That was his bae. Allegedly. Now, I know y'all want to see these tapes. Your favorite YouTuber in the comment section waiting so I could play the tape so they could take it and flip it and make a million dollars off of it. The only way y'all going to see these tapes is if we get a phone call, man. The phone number on the screen. I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. And if we get 10 phone calls, then we going to go ahead and play the whole tape, man. Because I ain't trying to go to jail for showing Meek Mill's alleged tatted up butt cheeks and we don't even get no phone call out of this, man. Okay, let's get back into the show. Usher Detail that a super group was supposed to happen with Jay-Z, Pharrell, and Diddy, man. They calling me, telling me not to play them tapes. Usher said it was going to be a super group. Jigga, Pharrell, Diddy, and Usher. He said we got distracted. Distracted with what? You mean to tell me y'all zesty asses couldn't get it together? Too much fruit, too much sugar, too many Krispy Kreme donuts. How in the hell y'all got distracted? Y'all supposed to be four of the greatest minds in the entertainment business. What was y'all looking at? They kept getting distracted, man. Got girls sitting all over the equipment. Niggas bent over on the mic. He said they got distracted, y'all. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, go ahead and play those tapes. Oh, man. We gonna play them tapes, but in order for us to play them tapes, I gotta ask you a couple of questions so we can get the show rolling. Are you okay with that? Oh, sure. Now, they exposed T.D. Jakes as a power bottom, allegedly. Now they talking about Meek Mill and Usher's involved in freak-off sessions. But it was a big girl named Quantasia that set Usher into big chick. So how he going like a biggie biggie and at the same time be sleeping with Diddy and Meek Mill? Well, I guess he just like the, the best of all worlds. All of the worlds. All worlds. See, because you, you got the big juicy ones, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you got the rougher side. Yeah. Of the of the you know of, of the coin, mm -hmm. and then you know plus you got all the the small women. Yeah. So he likes it all. He's an equal opportunity person. He'll give it to anybody. She could be as big as a house. Usher's still gonna tap that. Yep. As long as he, long as he can find the wet spot, you got it. He gonna be in there letting it burn and all that. <laughs> yes, sir. I ain't mad at him. Cause ain't nothing wrong with being a sexual person, but when you sleeping with your mentors, oh allegedly, sleeping with, with Big Daddy Diddy at Daddy's house, and Meek Mill be over there floating in the pool, looking like he in pain, like he just can't take it no more. <laughs> what is that all about? Well, I think it really started off with Usher part when he was younger. He just wanted to, he wanted it that bad. He was hungry, you can say. He wasn't now, the Meek, only one that was hungry. Meek Mill was out there in them streets starving in Philly. And they said Ooh, Brandy, Brandy and Ray J act like they ain't had no little brother. And he had to come up out there in them streets in Philly hustling, rapping with the Brandy braids, trying to get recognition. And eventually... 
he ended up on Diddy's lap because he was following in his brother's Ray J's footsteps. Have you ever heard about that? No, I didn't hear about Ray J. Uh-uh. That isn't so. That's what they saying in the streets allegedly, man. Meek Mill is a Brandy brother reject. And they clearly see that he they relative and all that, but they left him dirty out there in the streets in Philly, man. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I do what you got to do, man. And it's sad that Meek Mill allegedly had to come up pleasing older men in order to get opportunities, man. Mm. Yeah. My son, he's off into all that rapping stuff and got this older couple wanted him to uh, do little strange things for some change. And he said, "Uh uh-uh, that's okay. I'll, I'll stay independent. And that's exactly what he's doing. You mean to tell me your son was trying to be a rapper and it's an older couple in the industry was using him for young pooty tang? Oh, he didn't give it. But they he wanted it. He didn't give it. He wanted it. Yeah, they wanted it. Yep. They were some freaks. Yeah, total freaks. White couple. Total freaks. In the music industry looking for a rapping mandingo. <laughs> yep. How did your son tell? He told you like, mama, he told you he was scared. I'm not going to say that he was scared. It's just that I raised my boys up to that. They can come to me and talk to me about anything. One of my boys told me one time that, mama, I bet my New Year's Eve was better than yours. I said, I doubt it. And he told me he had a little girl in the garage and had two other guys back there. And they watched him have sex with the girl. Then he told the girl to go ahead and break his boys off. Sir. I'm like, oh, you're nasty. He said, and you ain't call the police on his little ass? Oh, no, he was grown then. He was grown with a little girl in the girl. You know what, sister? You no, damn wrong for grown. all of this right here. No, what you no, doing with no, this parenting no, you got going no, on? No, no, I can't no, even no, believe no. you incriminating my whole platform with this madness. No, you know what? No, no, I love no, you to no. death, sister, but you wrong. And you need to take off your belt and beat his ass regardless of how old he is. I can't believe y'all right now. But I do no, appreciate no, your no. phone call. You going to jail. And I appreciate no. everything that you just said, sister. And don't be no stranger. We gonna holla at you on the next phone call. Real talk. We love you to death, okay. man. You be good, no doubt. The freakiest mother I ever heard in my life. I would never tell my mother no shit like that. She just kept on stirring them butter beans, man. But that's Negro here, no damn. They saying that Diddy is a wild, wild boy. And on the tape, allegedly Meek Mill, he be rapping while he be clapping. Oh rapping while it's happening. Got bars for boys and boys for bars. He busts a mean sick by the end of the verse. Your ass gonna be hurt. Diddy looking like his stomach, his brain. That boy Meek Mill, he go crazy with it. Allegedly. Diddy kids out here living like monsters. He made gremlins. Now his son is in the lawsuit while Usher on stage with Swish Beat's wife interacting in freak off activity behavior, man. In front of the world. Swiss Beats, they say he had a boner while Usher was all over his wife. And when Usher got back to the hotel, it was a biggie biggie spread it out on the bed with extra room service. He locked the door. Next thing you know, it's a tornado, an earthquake down there in Nevada. But that ain't worse than the power bottle, Mr. TD Jakes. And they all got tapes. That's why Jamie Foxx got put in that coma when he kept talking about them tapes, man. People were scared because they knew they was out there. And now, when Jamie Foxx went down, that's when they started going after Diddy. They were saying it was Diddy that put Jamie Foxx in the coma. Cause them tapes got people on there that ain't got no business on tape. I'm talking about old ass pastors, bent over, crucifixes tattooed on their cheeks, man. 
some real weirdo freaks that been to them Diddy parties. Look at this. And we ain't even got into the, like I said, if we get 10 phone calls, I'm gonna put them boys butts right up on that screen so y'all can see the tapes, man. But I ain't risking my life without no payoff. Ain't nobody hit the cash up. We only got one call. Until then, I'ma explain to y'all how it goes down. Jamie Foxx been Wanda, Shanae, all that shit. He put on wigs and dresses before, lip gloss popping. He flipped his lips inside out to make them shits look bigger. And they gave him a big booty and double D breasts and he was all on your TV screens. In the 90s on some RuPaul drag race, man. Jamie was the man. Y'all forgot and now he partying with Diddy. Look at this, man. Y'all be forgetting this stuff, but y'all want to see a sex tape. Oh my goodness. That's him. Look how he did his mouth like a sex doll. He flipped his mouth like his mouth ain't never going to close. A, sh a slut hole. A ghetto hoochie with a blonde wig, man. That was his act. Now he partying with Diddy. Ain't no telling what he got on underneath them suits. Probably got long. He on top. He freaking them boys at them Diddy parties, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello? Oh, man. Man, it's leisure, man. What it do, bro? How you feeling? Man, man. You know, I'm, I'm feeling good, man. You no, know, I got a little weed rolled up. I'm good, man. No doubt, man. You over there feeling good. You chilling and all that. What's on your mind tonight, bro? Man, I just happened to. I ain't been in your in the in the in the talk show in a while, but man, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with Diddy, man. What y'all talking about going on with Diddy? Do you really want to get the four one one about Diddy, young man? I mean, man, look, man. Cause I will inform you. You called in to the right source. Man, look, Diddy man. is the king of Black Hollywood when it come to partying and getting freaky, buck nasty. That's what he do. <laughs> That's what he do. Somebody gonna get grope, booty gonna get smacked. This gonna go down with Diddy, and they all know about that. Oh hell no! Nah. Yeah, it's great. Diddy the man when it come to getting loose, freaky dicky. You into that kinky shit? Hang around oh, Diddy. Nah, and listen, man, I ain't there. That, look, the whole Hollywood, the whole Hollywood know about it. I'm talking about A-listers, D-listers, B-listers. They want to party with the king. He gets naughty. Oh my like, man, whoa, I can't man, believe that you know, just happened, dude. You know he call himself bad boy. He a bad boy. Whatever that may mean. Only, only his confidants can know, but yeah. Man, I'm just trying to figure out, man. Well, what's that news you was talking about, though? You said if a 10 callers come out, how many you was going? You said you had some. Yo, we got them them tapes that y'all want to see. Glycerin. Oh, yeah, y'all want them boys, on, them boys on them boys on them, but them I, boys no, on them boys. Tapes, no, that's what that's <laughs> why you call. No. You trying to you trying to help out the whole process in there. You can't wait to see them <laughs> boys with the, the process. You want the boys or them boys or them boys. You, know you want the tape. That's I why you call. About the tape. Come on, man. You want to see the tape, don't but them alleged I tapes. I'm about to pull up some like some, some factual. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I man. Ain't trying to see you that, helping though. the pro? You you definitely trying to see something, bro. That's why you call. Yeah, blur hey, you that gonna out, get, man. We go, you gonna get what you want if we get eight more calls, man. So it's depending uh, on the rent. You did your part because you want to see it bad. Say? You want to see it bad. I don't want it. What brush say on uh, barbershop? I don't want it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't want it. You, the actions speak louder than words, man. One thing for sure, we do appreciate you for calling in, man. And don't be no stranger. We gonna holla at you on the next video. Ooh. Real talk, man. Shout out to him. Listen at this, man. Y'all gotta feel me on this. Diddy held it down for hip hop for a long time. The Hamptons, modern day gap speed. Diddy's white party turns 20. 20 years of the Diddy white party. 
You got Al Sharpton there, LL Cool J. These some big time cats. Russell Simmons. Do y'all think they in there being devilish, even though they got on holy robes? Because if that's the case, Al Sharpton pointing that Diddy like, that's the one right there. Like, this one's a motherfucker, man. He pointing that Diddy like, y'all don't know about this motherfucker right here. Like, he the one. Like, do you know crazy? Crazy is this. He's a bad, that's a bad motherfucker right there. Al Sharpton pointing at him with the rollie on, like he know what money about. They was at the all white party. You had rock and roll. Was he there with Tommy Lee? He got official rock stars at his party. Come on, man. Y'all don't understand. Wait a minute. Y'all need to see this shit for what it is. Reg, switch, switch that up. This man had Tommy Lee at the motherfucking party, man. Do y'all no not this time. I'm talking about the rock star. He do it the this nigga had the motherfucking motley crew at the damn party. Oh, get this nigga off the screen, man. He's zesty. Get him off. He had the mock Pamela Anderson's ex-husband. A true fucking rocker. Give me another beer. He showed up with the he he was waiting for Diddy. Oh my goodness. Machine Gun Kelly uncle, man. Hey, fuck it. I'm gonna go get loaded and I'm gonna head to a Diddy party, baby. Oh my goodness. He got a tank top that say white boy on white boy. Like, yep, yeah, that's me, babe. Mm. Like, give me some sugar, honey. Oh this man was partying with your boy Diddy, man. His kids was there, just sitting by the pool looking. Oh my goodness. Sitting by the pool watching. Walking in on daddy doing God knows what. Ashton Kush on the swing. LL pushed him. It's gonna be a fucking great night. This just what they do in the daytime, man. Jay Z was there. With an attitude, Andre Harrell said something slick to piss him off. Like they said you couldn't handle the wee wee. He got Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian at the party. And he got a water gun spraying it all over their breasts. Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon came through for the freak off. He got Howard Stern, motherfucking Ozzy Osbourne kids. They all came to party with the man, yo. And I say all that to say that if they got tapes, like they claiming they got tapes, a Diddy with Usher and Meek Mill, them ain't the only people involved, man. Listen at this. Diddy used to take 14 year old Usher to wild parties. Yeah, you heard that right? 14. Diddy introduced him Shit to the adult here. lifestyle right Bro, away. Turn that off. Telling I do apologize. That was real bootleg. I do apologize for that. Somebody gonna get smacked for putting up that whack footage like that. Oh, y'all need to see this. Brother Love. You may know my P. Diddy Puff Daddy's son Carter, ladies and gentlemen. He bought out Diddy to the um the residency or whatever. He showed him some love in front of the whole audience. He looking like, damn my titties big. Did y'all see that? This nigga got breasts. He, his, them hormones, man. He need to leave them boys alone. He 
you're looking at his chest like, damn. He getting motorboated by thugs on the beach and all that. Better leave them boys alone. Gonna have D milk coming out. Of it. Look, you don't squeeze that nipple milk and made an omelet out of it. You're like, I want you to go get him right there to do with all the money. Yeah, the fat white man, go get him right there. Be his boy. Like, you sure? Like, yeah, him right there. Go get him. And call him daddy. If you want to get a bag, that's where you get the money. Because I ain't giving you shit. Oh my goodness. Like, yeah, that's the perfect mark for you. Because I ain't the one, homie. Your mom sent you up here. She ain't sent no groceries. She ain't get you. You going to be homeless. Now, there go your man. Go please him. If he wants you in the hot tub, you better run that motherfucker as soon as you get in the hotel room. Shit, I got Clive. You better find somebody too. Too, too many billionaires in here for your little black ass to be broke. Oh my better get a mop bucket or something, nigga. Oh, man. Let's just go ahead and tell the story. We gonna get back to Jamie Foxx freaking them boys on the living color, man. Oh my goodness. They said he had more bounce than an ounce. Now he a grown ass man hosting a party with Diddy. He dressed up like Lil Richard with no problem. He put the, the skinny mustache on and everything. He ain't give a damn. Straight zesty to the, they say he was the bomb. He put on that outfit, ugly face sweating. Acne blisters boiling, and he was still willing to be zesty on cam. They said Jamie Foxx look a high mess, alcoholic, turned out, freaked out on Scared Row in Hollywood. Started busting it open on cam. He got real zesty with Jim Carrey. They had to kick him off the set. Jim Carrey bleeding, holding his rectum. He acting like Mike Tyson with a dress on, punking the rest of them living color cast members. Davey Lee, whatever his name is, couldn't take it and started smoking heavy drugs, man. He showed up in Vogue. They came on the show. He out Vogue in Vogue. His sweaty ass had them plugging their nose for days, man. But that's neat. We gonna talk about that later. We got to get back to Diddy and Meek Mill, man, because that's what people really care about. Because they was out there posing like they made a cute couple. They they call it a fling or whatever. They, they dated. Men actually do that, man. I ain't never know that men actually do shit like that. They be straight. They be dating one another. <clears throat> They be really feeling each other's swag. They link up. They like feeling fresh with each other. And I get it. You got X amount of dollars. You want to be around somebody else that got X amount of dollars too. All them dudes in the dream chasers that Meek Mill be running with. They ain't got the type of paper he got. He can't do shit with them like how he could do with Puff. Cause he know he gonna have to pay for everything. He like, damn, when I'm with Puff, I ain't even gotta pay for shit. Like he got his own paper, I got my paper. When we come together, it's always love. That's until Diddy start grooming your ass with them tapes. Like look what Stevie J did. It'd be Stevie J on the back of Forrest Gump. Talk about run, Forrest, run, Forrest, run. Now look what Steve, Stevie here freaky now. You see that nigga nasty? Oh my Stevie a bad boy. You can't even finish your steak dinner after you see some shit like that. Like, damn. For real? 
Like, yes, for real. All us, all the niggas do it, man. You want to get paper, you better stop being a square. You really want to really be in this game? You had the fancy cars and houses. You need to make somebody really, really happy out there. That's all I'm saying. You better learn a few tricks. That's the only way you really ever going to get paid, for real. Look at this, man. He put Meek Mill on to the game. Like, you need to stop that bullshit and find your ass a baller. That's what you need to do. Daddy, make sure I stay clean. Oh, my goodness. Like, shit, I got two dad. But the first one was acting up. He was acting up. I had to find me somebody else. It's my lead ass for a white man. That's exactly what I did. Talking about he going to fire me from Uptown Records. Who's going to fire who? Shit, I'ma hire myself. How about I get with the next man? Slide over here. He pointing at him the same way Al Sharpton was pointing at his ass. Like, this the motherfucker right here. Y'all don't know shit till you know something about this nigga right here. He pointing at him with the same, like, this guy's a joker. Where did he find this kid? It makes you happy, sad, make you want to slap yourself. This motherfucker. I love this diddy devil. Hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, this is Josiah Law, bro. Are you doing the live uh, view on the PDD thing right now? No doubt, man. We doing a live talking about Diddy. What you got to say about that, bro? I just think that shit nasty, bro. I mean, like, I, I was raised in a traditional home, my friend. And I mean, like, to each their own, I get it. I get it, you know, but, um, are you doing the I'm just thinking that just shit straight up gross, dude. Like, if that's your thing, go for it, dude. But I just feel like Diddy tried to be everybody's daddy, bro. I mean, like, shit. Like, you really want to own the world and go for it, dude. Go, go try to be, go do it, bro. But it's <laughs> You going about it the wrong way, trying to suck somebody else, dude. <laughs> you know, not everybody going to try to be like that, dude. Nah, man, if, if I'm trying to make my meals, dude, I'd rather just work doing what I'm doing, making sandwiches, dude. Put them away in different banks. Fuck. So you Ain't make sandwiches and all that? that? That's That's what you do for a living? You make burgers or whatnot? I make sandwiches at a Save Mart, my, my friend, and I sell trading cards on the eBay and everything. I'm trying to come up with my own LLC. I'm well, trying to be trying like to sell a bologna PSA sandwiches. You trying to you trying to make them bologna sandwiches go viral and all that? Oh yeah, you know, you know, gotta post some pictures on Save Mart and shit, making them all look good and everything. Bro, we want you to sell another bologna. This we mother, want you to sell this, that bologna, to, bro. Sell all, sell all the bologna this, and make money. We want to see you get more, rich, more, bro. Hey, no job, bologna, bologna, bologna it up, bro. Out, and we bro. want to thank you so much for your phone call, too, man. Sell them sandwiches. We love you to death, bro. Real talk. I want him to make a billion dollars selling them bologna sandwiches. He gonna have to do it for the culture too, cause I ain't about to tell you. I ain't. I, I'm a motivator, whatever you trying to do, bro. Sell them damn bologna sandwiches, cause I'm gonna buy one. As soon as you package them right, and put them in the mail, man. Anyway, what we got up in here? Ghost Killer TV, pretty for your thoughts. QS, Pink Gypsy, Josiah, I'm Tivius Banks, what it do, dawg? Gang Grains, and Lady K, man. Professor, Ming Uncle Diggity, Nita Sheree, Brandy Coke, Raven Downer, Sean Pippen. What it do, dog? Pink Gypsy Tees, Ken Gold, and everybody else watching the video. So much love for y'all, man. Um, Raina Smith, she in the building as well. Okay, let's get back to this stuff. It's time to stop playing games and get into what's really going on here. Y'all need to see this. Hold up. Go ahead, yo, Reg, go ahead and play that, man. Hey, what's up, Diddy? How you doing? <laughs> hey, is it true that Cassie's pregnant? Y'all need to see this, man, because your boy Diddy. 
he came out but damn near butt naked. He walking around in his drawers. What's up, it's What's up? Sure, dude. Are you looking good, Diddy man? You getting buff, man? How was Pilates? Hey, you gotta take them. He over he sweating. This, hold on, wait a minute, man. He come out naked with his security guards looking. Like he, he walking around like he in the house. Ain't no shame in his game, man. He come outside in a public place. So what was he doing in there? Hold on, yeah. So, it, it, yeah, just jumping out on a motherfucker like that, <laughs> please, man. It's, oh, just, it's just like a, a, a mutual respect. Okay, I'm always cool with y'all. Okay, shit. that's you cool, man. All right, hey, well, that's cool, man. Yeah, just everybody wanted to know about Cassie. They were happy for her about the pregnancy. He went in the he went in the trunk and got this man some clothes. He picked out his outfit. Like here you go, sir. You might want to try this on. Just think it look fly. Man, get he if he snatched that jacket out that man hand, I know something, man. Hold up, let me see this. So, all right, man. Well, good seeing you, Diddy, bro. Take care. Man, yo, pick pick up that phone, bro. Pick it up. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yeah, you got Justin from San Antonio. No doubt, we got Justin from San San Antonio on the phone, right? What it do, bro? How you feeling? What's on your mind tonight? Yeah, not much, man. Fucking just, I'm just on the stream right now, man. This shit going crazy with me. I don't know what the fuck these rappers be on, man. I don't know neither, but they got these rumors about Diddy being engaged in sexual acts with rappers. And R&B singers and people saying that the rapper they talking about is Meek Mill and the R&B singer they talking about is Usher. So they on tape allegedly getting it in, handling a business. Hey, how much you think that sex tape would go for, bro? Shit, in the day and the times we in now where you could Google anything for free, it's probably wouldn't go for shit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel that, man. I feel that. We'll keep holding it down, my man. No good doubt. Good to hear from you. Worried up, man. Yo, and don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever, man. So much love for you, dog. And we going to play that tape when we get 10 callers. We only got two callers so far. So if we get eight more. And um, I've been on here for an hour. So if we could get eight calls in 10 minutes, then we going to play the tape. But if not, then, you know, I ain't going to watch it. So... I guess ain't nobody never gonna see it. You gotta wonder, is there really bromance in the world? It make you question friendships that you see men in with other men. And that's easy for me to say, cause I don't rock with nobody like that. But for the people that do, y'all looking suspect. But this is the point I was trying to make. Your boy Diddy came up on Clive Davis, right? And they saying that Clive Davis, the one that put him in the game. But y'all need to see another dynamic of this as well. Y'all just stay tuned. Hold on. Hey, we got a phone call. Let me grab this real quick. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What's going on? It's Trusky, oh, North Carolina. No doubt. Calling all the way from NC. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yo, I love your podcast, but um, man, Diddy is going crazy, bro. Like he been doing this shit for a long time. They need to go ahead and lock his ass up, man. Yeah, man, he been going crazy for a long time. But I noticed Meek Mill been hanging around these billionaires and they like, they love him like that's their best friend. Like, oh, Meek Mill, you're the greatest. What he got in common with these old billionaires that that's getting him invited you know. to all. 
What you think it is? You think he pulled the Diddy you Clyde know. Davis? The Diddy put him on yeah. to the game? Yeah, they, yeah, you know, they doing that elite thing, you know, you know. And, and Meek Mill's trying to, trying to, trying to throw it off like he ain't. But the way he going on, 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 on the internet, it's like, nah, nah, you did something, bro. You did something. Hold on. Look at this bullshit, sis. This don't make no sense, man. They talking about Jay-Z and Meek Mill helped by billionaire NFL owner. A new Bentley. Oh wow! They tricking <laughs> off on the billion. They they put the bread together to get a billionaire or a Bentley. Oh man, yeah, they they going in. What? They <laughs> ain't never did no shit like that for each other. Nah, you know it's something, man. You know it's something. Well, I cannot. This man already got a billion dollars. Like he need anything. They put their resources together to yeah. get a billionaire a Bentley. Yeah, that's wild. That, that's wild. That is wild. That is wild. That is beyond wild. They ain't they could have built the growth. They ain't did nothing for the ghetto ever. Nah. But bought a billionaire a Bentley. So you know, so you, so you know, it gotta be, it gotta be something with meat meals, man. Like, mm, it gotta be something. Yes, indeed. Usher too, Usher too. Like you said, he called him, he called Diddy out on the stage. Like, what in the world? <laughs> they said the billionaire went to visit Meek Mill while he was in jail. Like me, come here for you, man. Like, don't, don't worry. Did he put his hand on the glass? Like, yo, man, I'll be out in a minute, you know, just hold me down. <laughs> like, I'll hold you down, Meek. Don't worry, got you. Yeah, man, that's wild. It was crazy. Wild money, man. It's wild style, wild what though. Y'all hold That just show you, that just show you what, you know, motherfucker put money in your face or say something about some, some money. And you see what people do for it, for, for money, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, it's something with it, dog. It's like, do you want to be friends? Like, we can really be friends. Like, let's, uh, <laughs> like, let's be friends. I want to be your friend. Like, I thought you were my friend. Like, yeah. what type of friend shit you talking? Like, you know, I want. To, we have to be friends. We have to all be in this together. Come on, let's hold hands. Let's be friends. You think that's what it is, sister? Yeah, I really do. I really do. Damn, man, you gotta go along to get along. Like, ain't that what Cat Williams talking about? They yep. be going along and getting along. They be in their little clique and they just all, you know, they patched up yep. together. Yup, that's what it is. What about you? You ain't never have a group of friends in school that you was cool with, even though you ain't really like them girls like that. You know what? Yeah. And I and when I felt like that, I I didn't never, you know, chill with them after that. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, yeah, nah, something up with this little crap, nah, pay and buy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you wanted to fit in with them people, and when you did, you felt like you accomplished something. Like, yeah, I'm 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 in with these people. I'm cool with these people. Okay, well I'm somebody yep. then. Yeah, but you know, you you it. <laughs> It's flags, you know what I'm saying? You see some flags, it's up to you if you want to keep going through it, deal with it or not, you know what I'm saying? But I went, like that first flag around uh, some females and it's, it goes sour. Oh no, I'm out of here now. Nah, but it's all like, it about... It while it lasted. <laughs> it's all about what are you willing to do to be cool, man? And people are willing to tattoo they whole motherfucking face just to be cool yep. man yep. they willing yep. to do they were willing to do some time behind bars just to get that cool stamp yep. well how That's low wild. are you willing to go to get a name some recognition in society to be a somebody out here in these streets yeah. man yeah it's wild it's wild 
shit. They feel like they paid the price. Like, yeah, I did all that. You know, I don't did it all just to have a name in the game. Yep. Yep. You're right. Shit. Yeah. Yep. And we want to thank you so much for your phone call. You over there digging between your feet and all that, looking in the cabinet. <laughs> you ain't even got nothing else to say for real. Yeah, because that's crazy, man. Like, that's all you see on the internet. That's all you see. Like, I'm sick of it. Like, they need to do something about this man. If they're not going to do nothing, they need to do something. They need like, to do something ASAP, man. That's like, why I like, relate uh, with you. Yeah, no doubt. man. Like, you do a song. Like, they did Mark Kelly. You know what yeah, I mean? so, that's what they need to do. And the next time we go live, man, you definitely got to call back because we appreciate your okay, phone call. Right? No doubt. We're going to holler at you is. later. Real talk, sister. All you right. be good. Ooh. Word that, word that. And thank her so much for her phone call, man. She let y'all know that something, something just ain't right, man. And I agree with everything she had to say about it. So that's like the third caller. Y'all must really want to see this alleged tape, man. They had Marlon Wayans all up on Jamie Foxx trying to holler and see what's good with that man. He did the same thing in the Eddie Murphy. Hold on. Did the same thing in the Eddie Murphy movie, man. Oh my goodness. If these dudes ain't weird, I don't know what to call it, man. Look what he got on. Titty meat hanging out the side of his ex zesty, man. They nasty. Look like Prince. Like he just stepped out of the rainbow and all that. Look at this. All up on, all up on Eddie Murphy. With a wig on, with all, come on, man. This shit is beyond weird, yo. But that's Negro here, no there. Hold on, man. I need to see this real quick. Hold on, wait a minute, yo. Eddie Murphy was partying with Diddy too. Nas and Eddie Murphy on 106 and Park. Oh my goodness. When that when did that ever happen? Eddie Murphy and Nas. The weirdos is Lincoln, man. I ain't have a clue. I thought that was Shannon Sharp for a minute. This nigga in the band. Eddie Murphy in the metal band. He played the great Rudy Gay Moore. But that's Negro here, no there, man. Yo, these people in Hollywood can't put nothing past them, yo. Nothing at all. But this is some some trippy stuff that I got to share with y'all real quick. And y'all need to listen at this. Listen at this, y'all. Run that back. Listen. Oh, shit. My name is Quantasia Sharpton. I love Usher's artistry and music. I went to a concert of his with some friends a few years ago to celebrate my birthday. I was wearing a birthday crown, and because of that, I was selected to go backstage before the show. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? <laughs> Hi, this is Queen Shay. Oh, what's going on, sister? How you feeling? I'm feeling all right. I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. No doubt, well, man. I live in Windsor, but yeah. Where we go? We so glad but you called thought, in. What's on your mind, ma? Yeah, thanks. 
I just called because I wanted to be one of your eight people that had to call. I'm trying to lower the number. <laughs> oh, that's what's up, man. So we have four people now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's, that, what we that's what's about. up, man. Yo, we almost there. So you called okay, in. Okay, okay. Was there anything this is else? Ohio you, you stuff. Just, oh man, that's what and it I is. I like man. your show. Oh, your you shows know be what? awesome. I hate not missing when I miss you. <laughs> Yo, man, and I'm so glad you called in and participated in tonight's show. That means the world to me. And the next time we live, okay. word up, you can call in whenever you feel like it. You family now that you called in. All right. Real, no doubt. We're going to holler right. at you later, man. You be good. Take care. Take word up. Yo. We up to like three people right now. So, you know, we got a little bit of time to get that video played. Hold on. We got another call. Yo, hello. Hello. Who this is, man? Yeah, man. This is Black, man. Calling out of Buffalo, New York, man. No doubt. We got B-Lo in the building. That's what I'm talking about. Love your channel, bro. Your yeah, channel is a the channel. We rock with the channel because you give it up real, man. You don't hold back at all. No doubt, man. And I appreciate y'all so much because y'all called in and kept it all the way real with me. My question for y'all is because people been calling because they really, really want to see these tapes. Do y'all want to see the freak off tapes with Meek Mill and Diddy and Usher and they rapping and singing and they doing the remix and all that? I ain't gonna hold you. I don't want to see the tapes. You want to see the tapes? Uh-uh, that's too much. Uh, but if I get confirmation, like, from your show, if you say you've seen it, then it, it is what it is. I don't know. It is what it is. That's crazy, though. I rap about all this real stuff, and then y'all out here looking crazy, feminine as hell. Uh-uh. My sister, do that make you feel strange? about your black brothers do it leave a question mark over every brother's head like you you will never second guess or give a brother the benefit of the doubt uh, it is, yeah like it's, it makes you look at it at a completely different because it's like especially when you got sons and like wow and then not to mention jay-z puffy they're trendsetters, so we looked up to y'all for years, like eons. And for this to come out now is just like a heartbreaker. But I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. It's not for, you know, I don't wish them no bad luck or nothing. You know, right? Do right. You know what I mean? You gotta get the energy together. That's and I hate to say it, not being funny by no means necessary, but God don't like ugly. Like y'all done did ugly. It's a lot of truth behind Biggie. Oh, I'm gonna lie. I love it. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> but you know, it's so true behind the biggie. Just like the, the the lady that said she was shot in the face and people was paid off. I believe all that. She had, you know, the receipts and everything. But I just hope they get it together. I don't wish them to go to jail or nothing. But I wish they look within their souls and repent and surrender to God because we already live in a messed up world. So, you know, for y'all to. No doubt, you know, man. My husband getting on my nerves. Cause he's my Yo, <laughs> and for my brother on the phone, man, I got to ask you this question. Because I know you grew up listening to hip hop and everything. And hearing right. this news about Diddy, people you've been listening to their music for forever. Does it disappoint you to know that it's a possibility that they get down like that? It's heartbreaking, man. Diddy and Meek, but especially Diddy, because, you know, niggas looked up, but Diddy started this fly shit, man. He started this fly shit. It's just, it's, hurt, it's hurtful, man, that this nigga, that we finding out all this shit about this nigga, man. Like, damn. Gangstalicious, man. Been following in his footsteps for years. Come to find out you've been chasing, you've been trying to be a, um, a fanny man your whole life and didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> all them fly dudes out there trying to get money get fresh get fly you live you following the trend of a, a zesty man uh, hurtful uh, he hurtful man LL Cruz they called it out a long time when he said he see he, he, he was talking right. about Diddy I'm man gonna, I'm gonna tell you one real nigga you could listen to bro check out my uh, page Martin Keisha it's on YouTube but, yo um, if you can't find it, 
check out uh, Black Blood featuring Gutter the Rebel. When Yo, I say he deserves I he's heard about that. I heard homie was ill with the skills, man. We all about to check oh. that out. No doubt, my. And for y'all calling yes. in out of B-Low, shout out to y'all, yes. man. So much love for upstate New York. And we gonna holla at y'all later. Real talk, my. Ooh. Yo, I'm so glad they called in all the way from B-Low. It's probably cold as hell up there, too. They booed up until the summer. When it get hot, he ain't gonna know her and she ain't gonna know him. I know how it go down already. But that's Negro here, no there. Simply a Lauren in the building. Let me show her some love real fast because I see her over there. I know she be watching. Where she at? Simply a Lauren is in the building, y'all. Y'all give her a shout out and show her some love because she here, man. No doubt. And the rest of y'all, too. Y'all ain't hit the like button or call in, man. But I got love for all, um, all of y'all, man. Hit that like button, please. Look, we about to have our fifth caller. Hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, Sean. This oh. is Raina. Oh my God, Raina is in the building. How you feeling, ma? Raina is in the building, Sean. Yeah, that's what it's all I'm about. Feeling right? good, my baby. How are you feeling? I'm feeling distraught because. I could see Usher probably being zesty. Well, Meek Mill yeah. and Diddy together, the the black on black brothers, the Nino Browns getting down. I, I can't really see that. I know they had me fooled too. But you know what? I re you, okay, you ever remember like watching a talk show and then like um like a late night talk show and then they ask the question to the guests um, when their kids uh, get in the business and they say, um, well, how do you feel about, you know, you, you know, your daughter being in the, in the industry? And they always would be like, yeah, I kind of wish, you know, she didn't follow in my footsteps. And I used to always say, why do they always say that? Because they know their daughter's guess, getting schmutted out. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, back then, no cell phones or nothing like the no internet. We didn't, you know. But I noticed that they all had the same reaction. You know, the reaction was the same, and it would be negative. But you then know, they'll say, "But if that's what they want to do, you know, you got to let them be who they want to be. You know, you can't stand in the way of their dreams." I'm like, man, we so quickly forget that we come from a culture where. At one point in time, people was marrying off their kids at 13, 14 years old to miss yep, them. That is, yes, yes, that is very true. Sad, but true. Yeah, man, it be so, it's some shit. The shit going on now is wild, but it was way wilder back in the day. It's, you know, you got to break them chains, them cycles. Yeah, definitely. You right about that. You definitely right about that, but it's just so now. So now I'm thinking everybody in the game is all on some stuff. All of them. Every time I look at them now, I'm like, gay. Yo, gay too. <laughs> but think about it, man. Just like back in the day, if a dude had a ranch, some cows, some chickens, and shit, and he was rich. People would be offering up their kids to him, like, "Oh, you could have, you could have Nettie for some cows and some chip for exchange for some cows and some chickens." They would offer up their kids to a man like that back in the day. So fast forward to modern times, you got people like Diddy sitting on a hundred milli, R. Kelly, all these dudes, they millionaire billionaires. It's the same treatment. People offering up they selves, they kids, they aunt, they uncle. Whoever you want, you can have them. I know, it's so messed up. I mean, could you ever, uh, could you ever, uh, rent your kid out like that? People do it all the time, man. People are sending their kids. But could you do it? Hell no, could I couldn't you? do nothing like that. I wouldn't that, be man. able to do it either. I couldn't do it either. You know, I walked away from some money. I was at a wedding one time and this African guy was, it was an African wedding. Their wedding was beautiful. And he worked where I used to work. He used to be 
an employee where I used to work. And his friend, I guess he was sitting on some, some money. So he was like, my friend would really like to, my friend would really like for you to spend a weekend with him. And, and, and he willing to give you like 25 grand, but I couldn't go. He lived in Canada. I didn't know him. And I didn't know if I would make it back for 25 grand. And this was some years ago when 25 grand went further than it does now. I'm like, I couldn't do it though. The fear in me was like, mm mm. They tried said, to traffic oh, really? you. Oh my goodness. Out you there think in so? Canada. Yeah, that's not, they trying to get you up out the country, enticing you with money. Once you get, once they get you out of the country, it's game over. Send your ass it's to game Russia. Over. Send your ass to Russia. You oh you're gonna be in the hole. You're gonna be in um, Moscow somewhere getting turned out. Oh my goodness! I know. I didn't. I was. I was so scared. I was like, mm -mm, I might not make it back. But the but the the guy that was telling me about his friend, he was such a nice guy. Was his he name was Diddy or Meek Mill and all that? Cause that we ain't talk about <laughs> you, you going down memory lane on my video. If it if it ain't Diddy or Meek Mill, you played yourself. You disrespected my whole video and all that, and you ain't even hit the like I'm button. Sorry. Talk about another man. I'm sorry, my baby. You know it's all about. And you I, and I thought your we had something going on, and you talk about the next we dude do. all on my show we, and all that. We do. Well, how can I make it up to you? Because I don't have cash out. Ain't no other what way, ma. It's do? the cash app. Why well, you ain't got PayPal? You gonna have, have to download PayPal. it and all that. I got PayPal too. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna text it to your number. No doubt. Yeah, text it to my number. Yeah. I'm gonna hit you with the PayPal. For Word real. up, ma. We, we about to do that right now. And I want to thank you okay. so much for your call. Don't be no stranger. And reminisce on your own time. We gonna holler at you later. Real talk. No doubt. <laughs> okay. Too much love, love for you, ma. Oh, I love you too, ma. Real talk. Ooh. Be good. Anyways, like I was saying, y'all want to see Big Mill butt so bad, man. We got six. Y'all trying to get the 10 callers. Oh y'all want to see Rick Ross clapping his breast together as well. Y'all some freaks. Everybody calling because they want to see the tape. If you look in the mirror, you see Diddy's eldest son holding the camera, man. Oh Allegedly, this game over for Diddy. He he's an American horror story right now. This whole legacy is shitty. He gonna be a meme for the rest of his life. They need to bring back the funny pictures in the newsplate paper and all that. Do the Diddy cartoon in the newspaper. He a joke. Society don't even take him seriously no more. And Usher got all his money. He paid to get out of his sex lawsuit. A $20 million herpes lawsuit has been dismissed. They threatened to ask with carrots and orange juice, man. Like, bitch, if you try to sue me, I'm going to put you on a diet that's so good, you ain't going to be nothing but a sheet of skin. Carrots and celery, bitch. Oh my and now, Usher, you know I ain't gonna be able to do that. Well, drop the lawsuit. Oh, you bitch, you wanna go to Jenny Craig? Oh my if you play with me, I will have personal trainers outside your house, ho. Like, Usher, calm down. Stop playing. Don't do, don't talk like that. You ever did a crunch? You gonna be doing scrunches, bitch. Oh Sit ups. Leg dips and squats, you fucking with me. I will Billy Blanks your ass. Usher, don't be threatening me with no celery sticks. I said carrots. She dropped the whole lawsuit. Usher went down there, put some of that, that he put something on her ass, man. And I got reasons to believe that he be meddling. Let me pull this up real quick, man. Let's see what 
pop up. This nigga did a whole Shaka Zulu concert. In Africa, man, he went out there. He was petting on cheetahs. They saying he a prince out there now. Look at his necklaces. Shit, he put that Dr. Sebi all over his Woody Pecker. He ain't got no no diseases no more. He went back to the motherland. They put some of that oak tree on his ass. Like, lay and let us rub you with oil from the holy tree. Like I never felt better. Like we love you, Asha. The best medicine in the world. He went down there and got delivered. I have something for you. You take this herb, you be big, strong, black like me. Like I'll take two of those. And he over there with Erica Badu now. Oh my goodness. Wearing them colors. He out there with Erica Badu. He on some shit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't playing. Yeah, abracadabra your ass. And he been doing that since the My Way video. Hold on, matter of fact, let me pull that up real quick. While we waiting on the phone call. See, he was on that evil Knievel shit then too. People ain't even know what he was doing for real. Hold on, yeah. Yo, hello, yeah, hello. Yeah. Who this is, man? And that's just the My Way video. Oh, yo, yeah, yo. No doubt, homie. How you feeling, dog? I'm feeling right, man. I'm trying to talk about this, 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 this Usher shit, man. This shit going crazy, man. What's going on, man? I like the show, man. He was on that evil comedian. And, and shit, you still man. got it playing in the background. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I know, man. I don't... And then he hung, he hung up the phone. Oh man, y'all can't be smoking on them pipes and then be calling up here, yo. Cause y'all be messing up the flow. Y'all wanna wait till that shit kick in and then start dulling the digits. Oh Been sober all day. Wanna wait till I go live and that's when you wanna roll up and call up freaking out and shit. He put the blunt out and flushed it down the toilet. Oh my now he on the phone with his mama. Wanna start freaking out as soon as he get on the phone. I'ma smoke this shit and I'ma I'ma call Sean Blaze. Soon as that that crack or whatever start kicking there, that's when they running down the street with the phone in their hand. Anyways, man. Yeah, Usher was on that evil Knievel even way back then. Is that a young ass Tyrese? Oh my goodness. Usher had a gap? The fuck? Yo, he better not have been a female when he was a little kid, yo. Hold up. Got Usher, uh, Tyrese only th 14 years old. And Usher got his hand on his hip with a smirk. This nigga put baby oil on in the rain. Oh my goodness. Sticky ass underwear. Who he waiting for? He waiting for somebody to pull over and pick him up. Like, can I get a ride? Like, who the zesty R&B bowl cut having nigga in the street, man? Can I get a ride? You pull up, he's standing out there in the rain looking like that. Who gonna pull over for this nigga, man? He gonna get in the front seat. He lift his shirt. Man, he could have been a female before they did the ginger change and all that. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Yo, they better not a gender bend to him and ain't tell nobody. Cause if they did, that's down and dirty. Gonna be a skinny nigga with double D's. Oh my 
Yo, he better not work part time at Hooters. Wow, he got a platinum album, man. A skinny nigga with double D's, man. It's questionable, man. Is that Lisa Ray Lowe's sister or something? Oh my God. The nigga look like the brat. What type of shit is this, man? They say he he in the porno with Diddy with nipple rings on, man. Lifting up his shirt like he a thot. Only women do shit like this for real. He act like he bought to show his titties. Oh my goodness. Like if I lift it up further, one of my breasts gonna pop out. This nigga nasty. He put a titty out and stuck his tongue out. This nigga zesty, yo. Put his tongue out with his titty out. He was a girl, yo. Allegedly. They gender bending him before they informed us, yo. Oh my goodness. His mother did it. So I'd rather have a son over a daughter any day. I got Sharima. Like, who the hell is a Sharima? Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to say Usher, Usher Raymond. Like, if y'all don't get me a motherfucking bra, y'all see me out here naked. Beyonce's kid sister that didn't nobody know about. Took his tit. This nigga, come on, man. He, this he a female and all that. We need to look at his birth certificate. They said he a clone of Paul George. Oh my and I don't know if that's true or not, but somebody a clone of somebody, man. Man, get this dude with his double D's up off the screen and all that. I do apologize. But I need to see his birth certificate. Hold on, yeah. Because if this man, why he look like Aretha Franklin is a baby? Oh my goodness. Is that Usher? or Aretha Franklin pictures. Somebody lying. Is Aretha Franklin his mother? Like, oh shit, I ain't see this episode of Good Times. Find out he Aretha Franklin's grandbaby or something. Why he look just like Aretha? Hold on, man, this is blowing my mind. Is they related? Hold on, yeah. Yeah, type that in, yo. Yo, this is really freaking me out. <clears throat> is Aretha Franklin his mother? Cause, oh my goodness. Or is he like a? Is that her niece or her nephew, yo? This nigga, hold up. I'm confused. Was that his great grandmother or something? Cause his moms, they look like they could be twins. But that's Negro here, no there. Shout out to Usher and his beautiful family and all that. These are all jokes, allegations and speculations. <sighs> hey, if that's what them boys like to do, that's what them boys like to do, man. Hold on, y'all need to see this too. Turn that back. Okay, listen at this, y'all. No, not that. Okay, this right here, listen. Usher pulled up to Club Shape. Damn, artificial intelligence videos messing me up, yo. Okay, get a video with the fat girl. Okay, play that. Later, a security guard picked me up and asked me for my number. He told me Usher had seen me backstage and was interested in me. After the show, my friends and I returned to the hotel. I got a call from Usher on a block number asking me what hotel I was staying in and the room number. About an hour later, he arrived. 
We spoke for a while and then we engaged in sexual contact. Damn. It, it, that's so, it, it went, it was like that. Oh my goodness. He called her ass from a block number. Like, no, she cannot have my number. He slid over to her telly. Talk for, he said, talk for a little bit. Then it was wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Oh my goodness. A little bit of chit chat. Not a whole lot. And it was face down. He getting real cheesy for the night. Do y'all believe that? Do y'all even believe this man? He no. never warned me about any STDs. It was just after my 19th birthday. I never heard from him again. When I first heard reports that he had herpes, I couldn't believe it. I had a child a year ago and I knew I was negative. But I contacted Lisa Bloom to find out what my rights are as a woman. Although I am negative, I was upset by the reports because I would have never consented if I would have known. I would not have taken the risk of getting an incurable disease. My health is very important to me, especially now. This was bad, bad, bad news for Usher, yo. Bad news. When it was happening, it's a history and a mystery now. People completely forgot about this, but they was doing him like Diddy. They was doing him worse than Diddy. He was dropping mills on lawsuits as well. Then somehow, some way, they flipped it around. Now Usher back on his feet and Diddy taking a dive. And it got me wondering, damn, Usher, what did you do, bro? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Man, this is Nick from H-Town, man. No doubt. Calling all the way from Houston. What's on your mind, brother, man? Man, I just caught, just caught the little end, though, man. This shit crazy, man, with the day and the Usher and the Meek Mill shit, man. They saying it really went down between them brothers. Man, that's what I heard through the grapevine, man. Yeah, man, and it make you wonder, you know... All across America, what's really going on out here in these streets with the brother, man? They say when they behind the closed doors, man, they get spooky back up, man. You just never know who a creep, who a freak, uh, who down to get with. Man, that shit crazy, man. They got me mind boggled, man. That's why I said I had to call in and chime in on this shit here. You know what, man? I ain't gonna make it out to be all that bad. It's a lot of brothers out there that's solid. They ain't even trying to even think like that. It's a lot of real men out there that wouldn't dare, don't care. They they love being who they are. But then you got a bunch of brothers out there. They be sniffing too much. They be getting too close to the mother. They like to be around and smiling in the face of another man all the damn time. They say, they say it's a fragrance out there that they be attracted to. Let me tell it. It's a pheromone or some shit. <laughs> they like the way they want to smell. They want to inhale that masculine funk. <laughs> they say it's attracted to them like, like bees to, to a flower, man. It's like a line. They snort a line. Of, they, they get around them boys and they eyes roll in the back of their head like, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> hey man, it's weird out there. And you know another thing that really got me weary about my brothers? Too much basketball, man. Brothers be yeah, playing yeah. that ball all on the basketball court, just shooting, hooping, playing D, chasing each other, all sweating, balling, basketballing, man. I'm starting to think that is a problem in black society. Yeah, it is. I'm just hoping they don't go back to, to the short shorts above the knees, man. All this hooping, all this b-balling and basketballing amongst these men, it really ain't productive. It really ain't, man. If it ain't got nothing, nothing to do with Olympics, you know, I really ain't got no too much time for it. 
man, brothers better off getting together and playing some chess or doing some intellectual shit or, um, you know, picking up a trade. That basket, too much. I ain't saying nothing wrong with ball, but too much of anything ain't no good for you. You got straight hoop basketball heads, NBA 2K all day, just basketball heads. I don't understand it, man. Sound like a whole bunch of locker room talk to me, man. That's exactly what it is, man. Lolly gagging and talking shit. And ain't no yeah, wrong with that, but damn. I mean, too much of anything ain't no good for you, brother. Like, we got to do better. Yeah, we do, man. They say hey, they say the only way you can spell community is you got unity in there. Yeah, man, I ain't with it. Not not no more, man. I went through my phases, but as I get older and I really look at it like brothers is wasting time playing kindergarten games. Okay, some people don't want to elevate. Some people don't know how to motivate themselves to elevate. Let me tell you. LeBron about to be 40 years old, still running up and down the court with the young bucks. He like an old yeah. deer. He he's still out there. Like yup, I'm still. I hoop. I dunk. I slam. Yo, take these pretty shoes on my feet. Yo, man, you think he gonna be the greatest of all time when it's all when LeBron James retire, my brother? Do you think he gonna be the goat of the NBA and basketball history? Man, that I can't tell you. What I know is it start a whole bunch of fights when that conversation come up. Man, it's going to be crazy. This man been to the NBA Finals for a decade, 10 times. He had a whole decade to himself and only got three rings about that bitch. Oh, my goodness. How many think he trying to go for, man? Shit, he could have 10 rings right now. He only got four on his fingers. Yeah, it sounds like it needs time to go and give it up, huh? Go and do some coaching like Dion or something. But who gonna replace? He filled the void for a long time because when Jordan was done, the NBA was done, man. They needed somebody to fill that void. And and LeBron filled that Jordan void for I don't know how long, but the void been filled, man. Even though Jordan been gone, they manufactured a Jordan just to keep the, the feeling and the thrill alive. Man, I got, got him a whole new, new new hair piece and all with that. A new hair piece, man. He trying to take it to he, his son about to come into the game. It's just a bunch of... It's really sad when you think about it, man. It got me thinking about that movie, Amistad or, um, <laughs> or Roots or something. Yeah, they shit black history. It was just, just a couple of days ago, but... I guess that's all history to the black people. It's all history, said. man. Don't nobody give a damn. It's all about that TikTok and that Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And we appreciate your phone call, brother. We don't want you to be no stranger. And the next time we go live, make sure you call back, dog. Yo, we gonna holla at you later. Real talk, man. Shout out to him and thank him so much for his call. There's a few more things I want to say before I get up out of here. <clears throat> Having a million dollars as a black man exposes you to all different types of boutiques oh and places to buy jewelry and they will treat you, service you so you can be fly. And eventually you're going to have to get your nails done because ain't nobody trying to see their favorite rapper with no crusty ass nails. So sit back and let her put your feet in that water, soak your feet, scrub them, get your manicure, your pedicure. You got to stay up on this shit because you're going to be taking a lot of pictures. It's going to be people in your face. You got to make sure your facial, your facial and all that shit is right. You basically a male model. Once you get in the game, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? She called up from the Chinese restaurant. Oh my goodness. 
now I'm thinking about some egg rolls and all. That was a subliminal message. I'm gonna mess around and get some low main tomorrow. They trying to plug a commercial to get us to go out there and get some general towel. I just been subliminally programmed fucked. Now I can't stop thinking about duck sauce. Man, I'm gonna have to go down there tomorrow and get me some beef and broccoli or something. That music make me want a fortune cookie, yo. And she need to call back. Sprinkle some MSG all over my peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the morning. Anyway. <clears throat> Meek Mill don't came a long way, man. A long way. A long way in the game. Shorty don't came up. And I ain't mad at that. He started crying? For what? Oh my goodness. What are you crying for? Meek Mill cried? Rapper Meek Mill tears up as Pennsylvania Shapiro signs probation reform. Did he do that for the camera? Is he out here acting? He did it for the press. Where he at crying? I need to see that. Bust out in tears. Hey, this for my nigga, my really my nigga, my nigga. Oh I do this for Philly, my nigga, my nigga. Ooh. The mighty Meek Mill broke down in tears. He said, Nigga crying like he in the blood sport movie. They threw the dust in his eye. Ah! Crying like Jean-Claude Van Damme, man. Oh my goodness. He went straight to Diddy House after that. Like, hold me, console me. Like, man, little nigga, what you crying for, man? And get your ass in here and eat some of this oatmeal. Ain't no time, ain't no rainy days around here, man. Now come get in the bed. Nigga, it's time to cuddle. Part of the game is that. Shit. Them boys with them boys with them boys, huh? I don't want to believe it. I ain't gonna believe it. Y'all could have a little zesty fantasy. Y'all could run away with that shit, too. Because that's all y'all gonna have. We ain't have 10 callers, so all you got is just zesty fantasies. Ain't nobody seen no tape. Probably ain't no tape. Oh, shit. They did this nigga dirty. Oh, my goodness. Drake Millie Manili. Shit, that about sums it up. So, um, Meek Mill put the Milli Manili on him. Okay. That makes sense. Got his lips puckered out. Facial done Botox and all that. That make, that makes sense. Shit, um, money bag. Yo, he got the, um, the Botox package as well. They all do. Meek Mill been plumped up. They don't tox this shit out. Gave him an extra headline. This all cosmetic affairs. They pushed his head, his forehead out. No wrinkles and shit. Hit him. Filtered in his cheekbones. Even did his lips. Talking about he the next black Martin Luther King. Oh my goodness. All cosmetics, man. They made him look like Malik Yoba. And um, all them actors in Hollywood, they was trying to get his Hollywood career popping. They made him look like Eddie Murphy. Oh my they was waiting for him to do Saturday Night Live. Even put a little Denzel Samuel L up in his shit. They was grooming him with the same boobage as Usher, man. They made sure they had the same boobage, especially if you're going to be around Diddy. They know what he like. A man with puckers. That's what he call it. 
They tatted him up and everything. They simmed his ass, man, just like the Sims. They simulated a gangster out of him. The type that Diddy like. Hold on, y'all gotta see something else that I always thought was suspect. And this show is all about allegations and speculations. We ain't got no proof or no facts. But I make a damn good allegation and a, a pretty good speculation, man. If this was a restaurant, I would be known for the sloppy Joes, man. Okay, what was I about to look at? Damn, it don't slip my mind. I'm fooling with y'all, man. I know it has something to do with Diddy. Hold on, what about Diddy and Rick Ross? Now we know for a fact that Diddy liked them big boys. Biggie was his first, he like a fat player. Have him calling himself Big Papa and all that. They keep a fat boy in the mix. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? Hey, this is Charlon. Oh man, we got Charlon on the phone. How you feeling, sister? What's on your mind tonight? Yeah, so I'm just not tuning in to you. Uh, finally caught you live, and I'm glad to keep you live. Yeah, I'm tripping on the information going on here. So the sex tape then leaked out? Allegedly, they saying that within this lawsuit, the man that's suing Diddy, he's seen tapes of people in the industry engaging in sexual acts with Diddy. That's what he's saying. So they thinking that the tape is going to leak eventually because if he got it, he can't be bluffing like he got it if he ain't got it. So people on the lookout for that leakage. Wow. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Wow. You know, I would imagine grown people since forever have all different types of strange sexualities. Nobody's sexuality is the same. So when you dealing with a society or a community full of people, you're gonna come across some scenarios or hear some stories about some freaky deaky kinky shit that you may not be into. Mm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they into it, they into it. Yes, yes they are. You're doing strange things for pieces of change. It's, it's, it's just outrageous. Always wow. been that way. It's nothing new. It's nothing that ain't never been heard of. Or it's nothing new under the sun. It's been going on. Yes, it has for a long time. Well, I just want to give you a shout out, my brother. I look at you all the time, and I'm just glad I finally caught you live. How you going to professionally try to back off the phone when I'm trying to have a damn good conversation? You oh, can't you handle the facts. Good... Oh, I can handle the facts. I can handle them. Because you just tried to skate out the back. You grabbed your, everybody seen you grab your keys, and you tried to run out the back door. No, brother, I'm not trying to run out the back door. We shouldn't do each other <laughs> like that, man. You see, I'm trying to run a black owned business and you just want to leave me with this change and everything. That's all right, my sister. I do appreciate your phone call, but the way you're trying to leave is disrespecting my brand. Well, I do apologize, my brother. I'm not trying to disrespect you at all. I love what you're doing and you're doing a wonderful job. See, we need more sisters like you, man. You the type of sister that make me want to build a community. You know what I'm saying? Because you are yeah. so gracious and full of splendor and light. You make me believe I could do something to make a difference for everybody, man. That's why I want to thank you so much for your phone call with your beautiful angelica self, man. And we're going to holler at you on the next video with none but love, my sister. Real talk. We're going to holler at you Real soon. Time. You be good. Take care, sister. No doubt. You do your thing. Well, man, I'm done making zesty ass videos, man. Oh, you ain't. This my last. This the last time. And I'm about to get out of here too, man. I ain't doing no more Diddy with the booty, or Meek Mill booty videos. It's, it's whack and it's played out. They want us to believe Usher. 
was on tape hitting them high notes while Meek Mill tapping and rapping. Tapping and rapping, smacking while Usher, who yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all want to believe that? Meek Mill hit him with the Millie Rock and Bobby Schmurter started twerking on the cam. And Diddy laughing, recording everything. That's what y'all want to believe, man. Y'all got these zesty ass fantasies in y'all brain. With Stevie J eating ice cream. With his legs gapped open, waiting for Diddy to get out of the shower. Oh my goodness. They said Stevie J was wilding on the white guy. Like, oh God, dude. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. A while and for the night. They said Stevie J had the cat eyes. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? I'm gonna get a number two, man. Duck sauce. They mentally programmed, jammed it that time, man. I'm by the shit. I want the broccoli with the with the beef, the mugu guy pan. And I want soy sauce. Mm. And a ginger ale. Oh Woo, heartburn. They gonna be on the toilet like damn. Uh -huh. Nothing but hot gas. Like every time I think I got a shit, I got gas. Bam, like, oh. Mess up your whole day. You be living in the fog, like, oh. But that's Negro here no there, man. I hope y'all enjoying the video. Cause we about to get out of here in a minute. It messed me up when they said that T.D. Jakes was a power bottom, man. I still ain't got over that yet. Cause damn, if T.D. Jakes a power bottom, that mean that Rick Ross is a rifle bottom, man. They got a shotgun gauge for a booty. Bam, he hit you with that thing. You, your whole rib cage gonna be shattered. And he be with Diddy way more than T.D. Jakes. And Gunplay looking like he jealous than a motherfucker in the back. Gunplay look like he been replaced. Gunplay look like Ross is betraying him right now. Yeah, yeah, you all over that nigga. You all over that nigga Puff. I see y'all. Yeah, y'all like them New York, them, them, them New York ass nigga. Look at you, man. You suck ass nigga, man. You can't even come back down to the M.I. Yeah, y'all all over them New York nigga, man. He look like he's pissed back there. Like, hey, party over here, everybody. Like, hey, we're here. This look like a weird ass picture. But they put the spotlight on them too. Like, hey, it's us. Like, yeah. Like they the popular girls at the party. Acting like Paris Hilton and shit. He at the party with his shirt. Oh my goodness. Got them boobies out on him. Spread it. Like you just ain't never had a big slick nigga like me. Oh man, you don't know about roast. I smell good. The best cologne. Whoa. Got that good testosterone. Don't get it twisted. Every day I'm hustling. Got that sweat on me. The booby meat. Come get a whiff of the boss, Wolf. Oof. Like, I like him, you know, he cool with me. I like, you know, he's smelling all that, you know, 
It's a fragrance about them. You know, you just got to have it. Going to put you on the camera, money. How in the hell that happened? Shit, DJ Khaled. Is he down with the sticky icky? Or no? Because he be in the mix more than anybody. They said Ludacris and Lorenz Tate. Be on the funny bunny. I don't know. Partying all night with Diddy. With the fake chains on, man. Oh my Hustling up money off of the public. Nigga, put a Fugazi chain on and go to the club. And post up with some industry guys while everybody taking pictures. <clears throat> they all come around with them fake chains on. And them dope boys, they dumbass be buying the real chains. When your favorite rapper got his shit off of Timu. Then got the nerve to freak off after the party. Got them condoms that they give away at the YMCA and all that. Got them Planned Parenthood condom packs. Cheap ass can't even afford no Trojans and all that. He made a song called Nobody. Featuring French Montana, Diddy, and Keith Sweat, man. All these dudes, man. Something zesty about them. And I ain't talking about Waka Flocka Flames. But that name alone had people thinking about Fellatio, man. That nigga Waka Flocka is flame. Waka Flocka. Like, damn. Waka Flocka Flocka. That sound like some Paul's worthy shit. Waka Flocka. That sound like something you see on one of them X rated tapes. Waka Flocka. Like, rewind that part. But yeah, man. So y'all don't want to see the tape. I, I stayed around. I said if we got 10 phone calls, I was going to play the motherfucking tape. Y'all ain't heard about who got the tattoos, where, when, and how, man. And y'all was going to experience that, but I guess y'all just don't want to see it. If y'all don't want to see it, then it's not my responsibility to show it, man. All we needed was 10 phone calls. We did not get that. So yeah. I guess we just gonna put it in the vault. Oh my goodness. Matter of fact, hand me the tape, man. Come on, man. Yo, hand me the tape. And um, <clears throat> yo, put it in the. Yeah, put put it right there, cause we ain't, it don't look like we gonna be needing that tonight. Cause I told them we had about six phone calls. All we needed was ten. So I'm just gonna finish this out with some regular degular news. Ain't gonna put no ketchup on it, just bread, cheese, and no burger. Look at this, man. The photo came out when Diddy and Puffy was in love, allegedly. Diddy and Meek Mill was in love. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? What's good? No doubt, brother, man. We over here talking about a possible flame between Diddy and Meek Mill once upon a time where they actually dated each other. Allegedly, man, how you feel about all this? Myself being in the industry. Yo, we need you to cut that off in the background. Pretty please, brother. Pretty please. Can you cut that off in the back, man? I got you, man. No doubt, no doubt. So you were saying you in the industry? Yeah, I, I stayed myself up in the back, but uh, allegedly, I've heard these stories for a long time. <laughs> Everything that's coming out now, I've heard all these stories several times. So 
I don't know if it's a thing that you, you listen to it long enough, you start to believe it, but these cats with the same outfit on, uh, <laughs> real brothers don't do that. I, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I'm real sorry, but no. Real brothers don't do nothing like that. Matching outfits. They some Gerald uh, Levert looking silk. Old school, some 1990 shit too. Some cross color back in the day, like yo, when your uncles was zesty. <laughs> Them old Man. Jodeci outfit on. Matching outfits. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's a lot for me. <laughs> that's just straight a lot for me. Okay, you, you're not on stage. You're not doing nothing. Okay. But you just said no. Yo, <laughs> that's that's a definite. Yo, not only is it weird, but they got a little weird guy in the picture with them. Like it's it's all the way weird. They got on matching clothes. The little weird guy. He he in between they jump. They pushing up on him. He Diddy holding the bottle. One hand that's around the, the little. Man. He pushing. He push. That, they both the pushing three. in on that little man. Uh, yeah. From the front and the back. The front and the they pushing. <laughs> he in the he in the middle. He got his More head. He got his head on Diddy's stomach and Meek Mill pushing in on his neck. And the the, the, the smile. And they both holding the, bottles. They saucy. They drunk. They all they hanging on each other like hey. Uh, well, it's like I said. <laughs> You at a party and y'all got on the same outfit, but y'all did not perform. Uh, no, uh, uh, uh no. Oh and when one person see you, they like, oh, what up, Meek? What's popping? They dapping you up. They turn around and see Puff. He got on the same outfit. Like, is y'all like a tag team duo? Like, what y'all about to go do? Oh uh, well, you see the little guy in the middle. Uh, it's about to come together. He wanted that that little guy wanted to be where the party at. He like, I'm not going, I'm staying. Like, yeah, come on, let's go, you guys. He trying to be in the mix. Yeah, but the thing about it though, is all you see is guys. Man, it's a bunch of fellas, man. Where the big booty divas it's walking what, back and what, forth. Uh, yeah, because that's what I'd be uh, uh looking for myself. But all I see is guys. Ain't no big booty Brenda walking around there. Nowhere. Well, not hugged up like that. Not in this picture. Or or a few of the other ones that are. The men patched together. Them brothers, they patched together like mashed potatoes, man. They be a, they congregate a little too close nowadays. Yeah, let's see how puppy leaning in. <laughs> like he ready he already ready to do the damn thing and meek mill like shit i'm doing whatever diddy daddy doing what type of shit is this and, man and, and, and my guy in the back again with the with the saucy little red tie <laughs> yeah man we see him back there he look like he gleaming he he lurking he trying to be in the mix just like that little dude in the middle man uh, yeah, but look, it's, it's the look on his face. It's he, the look. He, he's looking at he's looking at me like, hey, hey man, what's, what's going on here? Man, we all trying to figure what's going on, brother. And your phone call don't set it all the way off, man. You the hot sauce on top of the video, man. Pause, and we appreciate your phone call. And don't be no stranger, man. We love you to death. Real talk, man. He called in. And he, yo, he did his thing, man. Let's just get back to the show. Hold up, we got another phone call, yo. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, well, you could just call me Yami, cause my real name's kind of little long, so. <laughs> so Yami, it is, man. We so glad that you called, Dan. What's on your mind tonight? Uh, yeah, no, I just wanted to talk about how, like, uh, you know, how you know sometimes everything that comes that that comes to the light because you know people have been saying a lot of stuff about diddy about him you know um gaslighting people you know harassing people sexually harassing people and people didn't believe him because he would like uh 
you know, pay off people. But now that um, people are coming out with, you know, their allegations, now people are actually believing, you know. Um, it, it's just crazy because um, I thought Diddy was like, you know, a gangster or whatever, but he's just, how do I call it? I don't know, like a coward. To me, he seems like a coward, so... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's all about a person that's willing to take a chance to be famous, man. Yeah. And the fastest way to fame, if hip hop was it during the time when Diddy was living, he was all over hip hop just to get the fame and attention, man. And a lot yeah. of people do it. They they want fame, they want attention, they want the recognition, but you got to be willing to please people in order to be in these positions, man. How yeah. how are you willing to please people, man? Um, I think if someone's desperate for attention, they'll do anything. Um, I, I mean, it sucks because, you know, there's a lot of people that have a lot of talent in the industry. And I mean, look at what Diddy did to Danity Kane. Um, I don't know if you remember uh, the, the girl band. Yeah. Yeah. How like he played with them and then tried to like, you know, he, he pretty much promised those girls um a future and said that oh yeah you guys are gonna make it big like mariah carey but he just played them he played them and um who else um i forgot his name i no it was another boy band that he did and they never made it big um but allegedly i heard that he was uh you know telling them hey if you i'm sorry if i had to say this but you know he, he was pretty much saying oh could you like suck my you know and i'll give you like uh, the album cover blah 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 and so that boy group they said no and so that's why he you know messed with with their future i mean he, he's done a lot of horrible shit to people and i think you know it's time for him to like you know pay the price you know yeah you know them groups that you yeah. mentioned <laughs> they was horrible man like it was a bad idea. <laughs> Danity came. The name was stupid. They looked crazy together. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, for a fact, they did not grow up together. None of these chicks. They ain't got no chemistry at all. You just jammed yeah, them together yeah. in a group on some VH1 shit. Like, what he going to yeah. do? It's all this is like reality TV and they contestants. Yeah. It ain't like he found them and was interested in them. He did it for VH1. Yeah. But but didn't you think that one of them had like a cool voice? I mean, do you think so or? Hell no. What? They didn't They're have a cool old. nothing. Like <laughs> they they was regular degglers. Yeah. So you would give them from from one to ten. Like what well, what would you rate them? Vanity came. I would rate them like I would rate the flavor of love or um any of them VH1 shows. Oh, They're damn. a reality <laughs> band. A yeah. reality band. Yeah. This ain't no organic shit from Motown yeah. or somebody. They they not even from the same neighborhood. Like they contestants. Yeah. yeah. It's entertainment. Nobody took them seriously, man. Nobody was expecting them to be a real group. It was a hype for the show. Yeah. Maybe they need to get that through their heads, man. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but yeah. But but what about what he did to Meek and Usher? I mean, that, that's crazy. I mean, I, in my opinion, I don't think Meek and Usher are gay. I mean, I think Meek might be bisexual, <laughs> you know, in my opinion. But I, I, I think he pretty much, you know, you know, raped them and said, hey, you know, you better suck my whatever and I'll give you a new song, homie. And so I think Meek and Usher, they're like, okay, homie, you know, uh, you know, start, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry that I had to do that, but I mean, it's crazy in the entertainment industry. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens there, you know? Yeah, I've been doing these videos yeah. for a while, been touching on these subjects yeah. for years, and I'm coming to the conclusion that when it comes to the entertainment business, yeah, it's all about who's your sugar daddy. That's what it's yeah. all about. It don't matter. Your, your favorite rapper, whoever you listen to their music and you enjoy their song, who 
It's yeah. the sugar daddy. Was it Barry Gordy in the old school days? Was it Birdman? Was it Master <laughs> P? Was it who's the sugar daddy that's putting all this shit together? Who's the one calling the shots? Is it the um, uh, QC, them dudes? Who Who is it? Is it Swiss Beats? Is it Meek Mill with the Dream Chasers? Yeah. Is it, Who's the sugar daddy? Who's Who's the Mac... Who's the pimp that's pimping the, the hoes? That's what it's all about. Yeah. In any genre. Yeah. So Diddy I mean, was a big crazy, sugar yeah. daddy. Diddy had a big sugar daddy. And sugar daddy had a sugar daddy. Everybody got a, a motherfucking sugar. And some people got multiple sugar daddies. Yeah. I mean, people will do anything for money, for fame. I mean... Look at J Lo. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, you, you, you're not a fan of J Lo, right? Not whatsoever. No. Uh, oh, okay, but I heard that um, you know, J Lo did some stuff with Diddy because you know she was like, I'll do anything for fame because everybody knows that you know she can't sing, she can't. Damn! Somebody muffled her over there. Ooh. Damn. Poppy Chulo came out the shadows and put a gag on her. Oh my goodness. Now don't you dare talk about J Lo like that. Not for that motherfucker. Like don't go against the grain. He snuffed her out. Like no mama. That's not. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> yo, yo. No, I think I hanged up by act. Hello? Oh, oh, you called back. That's what's up, man. We thought something happened to you. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I no, it's cause I guess like I was like I don't know. I was just moving some stuff, and by accident, I hung up on you. <laughs> so sorry it's about all that. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now that we know that you all right, yeah. we appreciate the fact that you called back, by And we going to holler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we going to holler the next time we go live. So much love for you, ma. Real talk. She okay, everybody. Y'all ain't got to worry about her no more. And thank you so much for your call. Hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, yo, Sean. It's Will. Uh, I was just wondering, like, what happened with... Uh, Meek, bro. Like I thought he was a dream chaser, not a cream taster, bro. That shit is crazy. Oh my goodness. Come on, you say he not a what now? What he said? Oh my goodness. I said that he's a cream taster, bro. What happened with that? You like, said he's not a on? dream chaser. He's a cream taster. Yeah, bro. Like what? Well, how did that happen? So you got bars and all that. I think so, bro. I don't know, bro. I just know Lil Snoop would be disappointed, bro. I know I know Lil Snoop didn't go out for that, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, man. Rest in peace to Lil Snoop, man. I know, bro. That shit fucking... And it's Diddy, though. Why is Diddy... Like, he's just the, the uh, notorious booty bandit, bro. I don't... What, 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 where does this come from? I, I, it's just... The allegations, man, it's been years been years in the fucking making and i just ah man my whole world's broken your whole world I don't know broken what to do. you don't know what to do you over there scared you trembling you shaking and shit i've been shaking man i don't know what to do anymore bro i'm about to you i'm about to put you on some game and i don't think you're gonna be able to handle it man you're gonna put me on that game sean i need to know they made a movie in the 90s called a vampire in brooklyn about this dude that came to America and was biting people, turning people into ghouls and shit. It was a whole movie about a vampire in Brooklyn, man, consuming people and doing all types of devious shit, man. And it ain't no coincidence that Diddy went to Brooklyn and got Biggie, consumed him, made him his ghoul, <laughs> and rose to the top of the charts, man. And he's still bro. biting people. He's still, he a vampire in Harlem, man. Bro, he a, man. Some deep shit. I didn't shit, know that he was, bro, it's disgusting, bro. They got him in the pool, too. I thought vampires couldn't get in, like, they reflection and shit. Like, you see a motherfucker fucking looking at themselves in the pool, fucking, you know, dump them back and shit. I wouldn't get in that pool. That's I why, get in that pool. I got, that's why Diddy wear the shiny suits, man. Oh to reflect. Uh, all of them repellents and shit. Man. 
Yeah. I never even thought of it like that. Yeah, you're, you're right, man. He's walking out here in like a in like those survival blankets. They said reflective survival blankets on his shit. They said the girl in Vampire in Brooklyn represented Kim Porter. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Wow. I, I, you're right. I can't handle that information. The Diddy Vampire story. Y'all didn't even know the movie was about Diddy, man. Nah, not at all, bro. Not at all, bro. People ain't even know. But yeah, man, are you a fan of Meek Mill's music? Uh, not, not, not recently. I haven't listened to him in ever, bro. I, I just, you know, I, after Snoop died, I, I just couldn't keep, keep it up. Yeah, so you was a fan of Lil Snoop? Yeah, I was a fan of Snoop. For Real sure. talk. You sound like you stopped listening to rap completely after he passed away. He was your favorite rapper and all that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, he was just your favorite. Like, if it wasn't Lil Snoop, you weren't going to put it in the tape deck. Nah, 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 no, no. Yeah, and I recorded all my shit on cassette too. It I was had all he ain't had a CD player since he got it all on tape. He still listened to the I little Snoop tapes. On the Walkman, man. For some reason, I got the feeling that you probably don't even know who Lil Snoop is for real. And this your first time. This your first time hearing anything about hip hop. <laughs> You tried to fool me like you in the streets and all that. You don't even know no. how to spell rap. You spell rap, rap? W-R-A-P, yeah. man. W-R-A-P. That ain't what it is. That's not what it is. You know what, bro? You played yourself to the max. But we still appreciate you for calling in, man. Hip hop is a culture, not just a genre of music, my brother. And we appreciate you. And don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back the next time we go live. Real talk, Ooh. man. You need to take a black history class ASAP at his local college. And I want to thank him for interacting with a brother like me. If he seen me in the street, He'll probably run across the street, but he still called it. And I appreciate him for his phone call, man. I love all my callers, all my viewers, all my listeners, all my subscribers, and all the people that hit the like button, man. So don't get it twisted. No. I probably should have shut down the live a long time ago, man. But this guy did, he got people asking questions he's they love him in hollywood he's so cool like diddy's my man yeah this same dude was with usher and diddy what a coincidence oh my and then he was in the car with elton john oh my wait a minute he be riding around with Diddy, and then he had Usher and Elton John. Oh my good, dude. Hello, hello, who this is, man? Hey, my man, Sean, this is just a calling back, boss. We got a one phone call minimum, but we would thank you for calling in, man. And next time we go live, you could you definitely got call one, back. The it was one a one phone call? call? One, oh, I didn't know. We I didn't do know. One, this. It's a one phone, whatever you said the first time. Hopefully it won't be what you're going to say the next time, man. Because you got options the next time you call in, man. Because whatever you said this time, I'm pretty sure they heard it out there, man. And we ain't got no second opening acts. And you trying to get back on the stage and all that. Dust your feet. Dust Dust no, your bad, my you, bad, you this all on the stage. You all the, on the stage. This was the dust first your, time calling. Dust, this was the first time feet. calling, you know? Hold on. You <laughs> said this your first time calling tonight. Yeah, this, no, this was the first time actually doing a podcast with you, my friend. I've been watching your videos a long time before. I'm a big fan of yours, man. So no disrespect trying to come through all sloppy the first time. So I kind of wanted to, you know... Rehashing. Did you call in better. tonight? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was we got here. a one for Ooh, boy. Oh, you man. about to bring out the dragon. <laughs> you about to bring out the dragon. Whoa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You no, to, but I actually to... had a question Whoa. on something, too, about the subject in the Whoa. matter. I had a <laughs> yeah, I had a, I had a question about it too. I, I was seeing it. I was seeing the. I was. No. <laughs> you bought out the dragon, my brother. We want to thank you so much for your phone. Call Ooh. back next time. I'm gonna be live tomorrow. Damn. But that's Negro here nor there. Oh it. Back to what I was saying, man. This dude, he hugged up with Diddy, and he, he all up on Usher. Then he was in the car with El Elton John. They ride round Zesty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, LeBron. Yeah, LeBron James, he in there listening to that on um, Katy Perry, like, yeah. LeBron and the whip, listen, they, they, they jamming to Katy Perry. It's like, he used to be my girlfriend. He used to be my girlfriend. They in there jamming. It's like, oh, listening to the latest zesty tunes, man. They went and picked up Ice Cube and put him in the back seat with LeBron. This old ass back there doing the cabbage patch. What type of shit is this, man? The zesty caravan of love. I come along and ride on a fantastic voyage. Pick up. <laughs> he pick up all the zesty people in Hollywood, y'all. Come on, join the caravan of love. They hop their ass in there. That shit smells sweet. Like, mwah. got powdered sugar all over the seats. Like, why I got this white stuff all on my tea? I'm sorry, it's powdered sugar. Like, he used to be my girlfriend. Like, oh, give it up. Oh, come here, boy. Oh, like, where is the boys? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Man, that boy Diddy is a wild man. <clears throat> he a wild boy. Ain't Dupree. You might be next, homie. I hope not. Atlanta will crumble if Jermaine Dupree ever took the fall, man. The whole Southern rap scene will crumble if they went after Jermaine Dupree. Outcast should be all up in it. They got to take with big boy Andre 3000. <laughs> CeeLo, they rubbing on CeeLo green belly at Babyface house. Ain't no telling what type of allegations Erica bad do LA read Andre 3000 take. Oh my goodness. Yo, ain't no telling what was going. They don't want it to trickle down to the dirty South, man. People getting exposed. That would be ugly, ugly as hell. Jagged edge sex tapes. Ludacris, T.I. and all that. Oh, come on, man. They don't, they don't want to play them games. The Atlanta exposures. <laughs> the Bobby Valentino, surviving Bobby Valentino. Oh, my goodness. That'd be bigger than R. Kelly, man. Who the? All them skeezers and all them weirdos and all that shit they be doing down there. Surviving Bobby Valentino. Oh <clears throat> His little ass should be facing a hundred years for the shit. Hey, like Bobby did what? That shit go viral. Come on, man, stop playing. Like 
like I wish y'all wouldn't do documentaries about me. His ass would be facing life. Like Bobby did what, what, who, when, where, and how? Like y'all not ready for my story. In order to get to me, they gotta go through tip. Goody Bob, Dungeon Family, ain't nobody think about me. I can get away with it forever. Surviving Bobby Valentino. The dirtiest, raunchiest, dirty South story you ever heard in your life. But that's Negro here, no day. Hold on. <laughs> what they gonna do and what they gonna say when they get around to exposing Andre 3000? You probably been buying them flutes off of the black market. Them shits ain't even legal in America. Oh my Made out of marijuana bamboo. When they find out about that shit, you gonna be on the front page of the news. Africa bamboo marijuana flute. Flown over with Britney Griner from the UK, man. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be worse than the Diddy trial. <laughs> Nigga smuggling exotical flutes in the country. Got people healing themselves, and it ain't FDA approved. Nigga look like he ready. <laughs> he ready to go trick or treating, yeah. Oh my goodness. The jack o' lantern jazz fit. Got a finger wave, a permed out finger wave. The hell was they going, man? What they gonna say when they expose him, man? How he was stealing them shag rugs straight off the, off the damn truck. Oh my <clears throat> like we need all of the shag rugs in the city, baby. I ain't playing. If it ain't funky, I don't want it. I got rugs. I'm the plug for the rug, baby. You like shag? The Andre 3000 shag rug ring that went on in Atlanta. Like I made millions off the rugs, man. I made millions off the rugs. They called me the rug thug back in the day. Yep. Nothing but them shags. What they going to say about them, man? It's going to be bigger than the R. Kelly trial. Especially when the world find out that Corey Holcombs is his twin brother. Oh my goodness. Y'all wait. When that Corey Holcomb news come out and how them niggas been related, just like Nia Long and Samoa, her comedian sister and all that. Corey Holcomb ain't gonna do a podcast in a month. Put them side by side pictures with him. He gonna be embarrassed about his brother playing the flute and all that. <clears throat> but that's Negro here no there. Look, I wanna thank y'all for tuning in. Let me show y'all some love real quick before I get up out of here, man. All the people watching, all the people that hit that like. We ain't get 10 calls, so I ain't gotta play the video. But for the people, that's leaving them comments and showing me love and hitting that like and all that stuff, man. Gotta let y'all know that y'all appreciate it. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button as well. And for the people that hit that cash app, let me go ahead. Yo, where my phone at, man? I don't drop the phone. Oh no, there it go. Hold on, let me, let me do this real quick. Before we get up out of here, show y'all some love because y'all be showing me some love, man. Demetrius Bright, Nakisha Clay, Lauren Gammon. I'm talking about Humble Waters, Antoine Perks, Humble Waters again. Thank you so much, my sister. G Moon, Grace, Laws, and Tammy. Thank y'all so much for them donations, man. Yo, I'm going to holler at y'all on the next video.